investigation into that deadly drug raid. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jonathan Martinez. And I'm Sion Rhodes. Just yesterday, we learned that the warrant that led to the raid was based on what the police chief called a lie, and that could lead to legal trouble for the officers involved. Channel 2's Brandon Walker with this story you saw first on 2. Brandon? And see on that affidavit calls to question the actions of Officer Gerald Goins, the case agent here, a 34-year veteran of the Houston Police Department. As you mentioned during a press conference yesterday, Chief Acevedo says that affidavit does speak to criminal wrongdoing here, but the big puzzler tonight is to what extent. Uh, we have found no evidence that we were just there willy-nilly. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo maintains the Houston Police Department had reason to investigate claims of drug activity at 7815 Harding Street. This despite an affidavit, first obtained by Channel 2 Friday, that alleges the case agent, Officer Gerald Goins, lied in order to get a judge to sign a no-knock warrant, claiming a confidential informant bought black tar heroin at the house. Officer Goins said Chief Acevedo likely will be charged with something. If so, the question tonight is what? The possible charges in this case run the gamut from class A misdemeanor official oppression to the third degree felonies of tampering with the government document and aggravated perjury. Or even worse, says Channel 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss. And depending upon how one looks at the evidence, it is not entirely a stretch to say that at least the case agent, Officer Goins, may be charged, or at least could be charged, with felony murder. How? Well, it's on the books. If you commit one felony, in this case, aggravated perjury or tampering with a government document, and in the course of or in furtherance of the commission of that first felony, you engage in conduct that is clearly dangerous to human life and somebody dies, that's felony murder. Indeed, but that's a conclusion that we're nowhere near getting to at the moment. It all depends on an internal investigation currently underway here at Houston Police Headquarters. And then the conclusion, whatever those findings will, will be, will be handed off to the district attorney's office. And that's when we'll, be con we'll continue, excuse me, to see whatever charges will be filed here. So stay with us as we stay on top of this story. We are live downtown tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you. Tonight, we also reached out to the Harris County Criminal Lawyers Association, they released a statement regarding how the warrant came to be, saying in part, moving forward, every case that officer handled is going to be under very strict scrutiny and very well likely have to be have the evidence legally thrown out and the cases overturned.